Kia ora everyone, Murray here again. Now being locked down, I've decided to read some stories to you. And this is the third story that I'm reading today. And hey, it's by one of my favourites. I've read lots of books by this guy to you before. You'll remember him, Anthony Brown. One of my favourite, favourite writers. And you may remember that one of the reasons I love Anthony Brown so much is that he doesn't just tell great stories. He also does amazing illustrations. Now I'll give you an example. This particular book is about um, a brother and sister, Poppy and Sai, and their dog uh, Goldie in that as well. Now it's called Hide and Seek, a game which I'm sure many of you have played. But one of the reasons I'm holding it up here to talk about the illustrations is look at that tree there. Look at that tree. Ah, I'm not just looking at the colours of the tree, the shadows. I'm noticing that down there. It's almost as if there's a creature, a bit of a beast within the tree. In this particular book, Anthony Brown does that on many, many of the pages. As I read it to you, we'll stop every now and again and see what we can see on the pages that you might be having a really close look at, at it as well. Now I need to give you a bit of a warning. It's a bit scary, this book. All right, so I hope you don't get too scared as I read all about Poppy and Sai and their dog Goldie deciding to play hide and seek. Let's have a go. Let's have a go. There they are at home. Poppy and Sai have been sad for a few days, ever since their dog Goldie had disappeared. They sat, and sat, and thought about what to do. Shall we play something? asked Sai. But what shall we play? replied Poppy. What about cards? Boring, said Sai. I want to play monsters. Oh, monsters are stupid, said Poppy. Why don't we go outside? But what shall we play? sighed Sai. You come up with something, said Poppy. How about hide and seek? said Sai. Excellent, said Poppy. Why don't you go as far into the woods as you can, and then I'll come and look for you. Sai ran off as Poppy counted. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, as Sai goes further and further. Ah, look, I'm looking at that, that those pictures there, those trees in particular. There's that one from the front cover, hey? Look at those feet there. Look at those shadows there. There's all sorts of things starting to go through my mind. Sai ran deep into the forest, and he found a tangle of branches. This is a good place, he thought. She'll never find me here. Nine, ten, coming ready or not. Poppy finished counting and strolled into the woods. Now before she does, can you see that shadow behind her? What can you guys see? I think I can see a wolf. And I'm thinking about forests and wolves and nursery rhymes and fairy tales. Ah, I told you it was a little bit scary. Sai was excited. He was so well hidden. He knew he must be quiet, but he couldn't stop shaking. Poppy thought she'd find Sai quickly. He always cho chose such easy places to hide. 
He's probably behind that tree, she thought to herself. Hey, look at that tree there. Look at those amazing shapes within its trunk. Is there anything else you can see in that picture? Mmm, there she is really close up to it. But he wasn't there. Oh no, thought Sai. I think I need a wee. Why does this always happen when I hide? I wonder if Poppy will find me soon. Oh, he wants to be found now. But Poppy was still a long way away. He can't have gone far, she thought. Perhaps he's hiding behind that pile of logs. Oh, I'm going to look closely at that pile of logs. What can I see? Oh, yes, I can see all sorts of interesting creatures within it. But most of all, I thought that was a log behind them. I look closely. Looks a bit like a crocodile to me. But he wasn't there. Oh, look, look, look. I think I can see a bit of an apple there. Will it be too hard for Poppy to find me here? Thought Sai. Because remember, he wants to be found now. Where is Sai? Maybe he's behind the fallen tree. Oh, yeah, look at that tree, eh? Look at that tree. Oh, look, I reckon I can see a monster there. The nose, the eye. Look, looks like a bird over there. I'm sure there are other things there as well. Look at that touch of blue. I wonder what that's about. He isn't there. I wish he'd come and get me, thought Sai. I hope he hasn't gone home and left me. He must be over there, thought Poppy. Oh, yes. Can you see there as well? Can you see those creatures in the tree? Oh, another one there. I'm seeing the feet down there as well. He's not there. Oh, I'm getting cold now, thought Sai. I want to go home. I didn't mean to come for him to come this far into the woods, thought Poppy to herself. Look at those amazing trunks of trees. They all look like they've got feet, eh? Oh, yes. Told you got a little bit scary. What's that noise? I must find Sai. Poppy thought. What's that noise? Sai thought. Isn't it, is it Poppy or is it a monster? Have you guessed it? It's not a monster, it's Goldie. Found you, both of you. I was really worried about you, said Poppy. I was a bit worried too, said Sai, but Goldie's back and now everything is okay. Let's go home now, said Poppy. So they did all together. Hey, they obviously live in that neat little caravan band there with the table and chairs outside. Now, it's as simple as that for this book, but I'm going to show you the last page because we saw some of the things in the book. But do you know what? There must have been a lot of things we missed because it says... What else is hiding in the forest? Did you see the armchair, the bone, the cans, the collar, the crocodile, the dogs, the duck, the cat, the elephant's trunk, the faces, the giraffe, the hat, the lead, the lead, the paw, the spear, the tap, the trumpet, the walking stick. And Anthony Brown tells us there's lots of other things for us to find as well. Hey, I saw some of those things, but I didn't see all of them. You might want to go back and you might want to look at each page now. And you might want to see if you can find some of those other things and that as well. Hey, if you really enjoyed it, 
you might even want to have a go at writing your own story about hide and seek. But try not to make it too scary, hey? And just like Anthony Brown, hope you can give it a nice ending as well. Have fun. Thanks.